Toyota just released their new RAV4 model and it killed all the competition. The competition is getting tougher than ever, so why are we saying this? Because they were leading the pack already, and now they updated everything, from their trim line up to every mistake they made on the last model. It has been selling all over the world more than any SUV, and now, with all the upgrades, it'll sell even more. Let me explain. Performance This is, without a doubt, the champion of compact SUVs, the Toyota RAV4. Why? Well, let's start by talking about what's under the hood. You have your standard gas-powered models that pack a punch with 203 horsepower, 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine. But if you're eyeing the hybrid versions, they bring the heat with an electrified twist on the same engine, pumping out 219 net combined horsepower. Now hold on to your seats because we're about to hit turbo mode with the RAV4 Prime. This bad boy rocks a plug-in hybrid EV system that churns out a jaw-dropping 302 net combined horsepower. That's right, we're talking lightning-fast acceleration, clocking in at under 6 seconds for a 0-60 miles an hour. Talk about leaving the competition in the dust. But hey, if you're the adventurous type who likes to get a little mud on the tires, the RAV4 TRD off-road grade has got your back. With beefed-up ground clearance, a specially tuned suspension courtesy of TRD, and rugged Falcon all-terrain tires, this baby is ready to tackle any trail you throw its way. And with the multi-terrain select system on board, it's like having a personal off-road guru adjusting the RAV4 settings to match the terrain for optimal performance. The RAV4 isn't messing around when it comes to all-wheel drive options. You've got three flavors to choose from. There's a dynamic torque vectoring all-wheel drive, which you can find on the TRD off-road, limited and adventure trims. Then there's the electronic on-demand all-wheel drive, available on the hybrid EV and prime plug-in hybrid EV grades. But hold on to your hats, because the RAV4 hybrid EV comes packed with a trail mode that's like having a whole team of engineers riding shotgun. It tweaks the brakes, controls the drive force, and manages that electronic on-demand all-wheel drive system, making it feel like you've got limited slip differentials at every wheel. Translation? You're getting top-notch traction no matter what Mother Nature throws your way. But let's not get carried away and forget about handling on city streets. The RAV4's got you covered there too, especially with the hybrid SE and hybrid XSE grades that come with a sport-tuned suspension as standard. So whether you're tearing up the trails or cruising through downtown, the RAV4 is your ultimate ride for wherever the road takes you. And here's the kicker. This bad boy doesn't just handle well, it sips gas like it doesn't need to. Gas models boast a jaw-dropping EPA-estimated 30 miles per gallon combined rating. But wait, it gets even better. The RAV4 Hybrid EV steps it up with a mind-blowing EPA-estimated 39 miles per gallon combined rating. And if you're all about the electric life, the RAV4 Prime Plug-in Hybrid EV flexes with an EPA-estimated 94 miles per gallon combined rating and a 42-mile pure EV driving range. These are all good things, but in my opinion, the RAV4 needed the most upgrades on the interior design and some of the control on the higher trims. Before all you die-hard fans get mad, let me tell you why I'm saying that. The Toyota RAV4 faces scrutiny for its interior design. While practical and user-friendly, the cabin design lacks the premium feel found in rivals like the Hyundai Tucson, Nissan Rogue, or Mazda CX-5. It should be a focal point for upcoming changes. In such a highly competitive market, they can't afford to make another car that doesn't address these issues, and I'm not alone. But Toyota has answered big time. Let me explain. The new plan. As always with the new model, they didn't disappoint us. They made a spacious RAV4. This bad boy is all about giving you the flexibility you need without skimping on comfort. Need to haul some gear? No sweat. You've got a whopping 37.6 cubic feet of cargo space behind the second row. And if that ain't enough, fold those rear seats down and boom! You're looking at a massive 69.8 cubic feet. It's like having your own portable small warehouse back there. But wait, there's more. Here is where it gets interesting. The RAV4 isn't just practical anymore, it's easy on the eyes too. Remember, that is one of the main issues out of the two that the old models were known to have. 
Plus, it's packed to the brim with all sorts of tech to make your ride smoother than a freshly paved highway. You can upgrade to the available 11-speaker JBL Premium Audio System, and suddenly, every drive feels like a concert. Crisp sound, booming bass, it's like having front row seats wherever you go. And for all you info junkies out there, check out the available 12.3-inch LCD multi-information display and 10-inch head-up display. They put all the important stuff right in your line of sight so you can stay focused on the road ahead while feeling like you're piloting a spaceship. Seriously, they've crammed so much cool stuff into this ride, it's like driving into the future. It comes with an 8-way, power-adjustable driver's seat that remembers your favorite position and available heated and ventilated front seats. Toasty seats in the winter, cool and comfy in the summer. This is more than a necessity nowadays. Plus, it has impressive safety features because of the Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. It ensures your peace of mind, but the RAV4 Prime plug-in hybrid amps it up with Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 Plus. But Toyota didn't stop there. No, they threw in some extra treats like heated rear seats for your passengers and dual-zone automatic climate control to keep everyone happy. Oh, and let's not forget about the smart key system. Say goodbye to fumbling for your keys like a lost sock in the laundry. On those frosty mornings, you'll thank your lucky stars for the heated steering wheel, making those early commutes a little less brutal. Now, buckle up, because here's the kicker. All this sweet tech we just talked about is the cherry on top of the RAV4's impressive arsenal. Whether you're cruising through the city streets or hitting the open road, this baby's got everything you need to make every journey a smooth ride. And that is something they need to fix. You see, there are two main issues with the current model. The second one is ride quality, and surprisingly, it starts with the exterior design. Let me explain. I'm not gonna lie, these new models look good, and I like the new army green color on this exterior design. With its sleek yet tough design, it's like the love child of a sports car and an off-roader. LED lights come standard, and you can pimp it out even more with your choice of 18 or 19-inch alloy wheels. So, you know you're gonna turn heads wherever you go. Plus, the new RAV4 is all about convenience and style, offering a power lift gate for those times when your hands are full and a panoramic glass roof to let the sunshine in. And if you're all about that outdoor lifestyle, the TRD Off-Road and Woodland Edition got you covered with raised roof rails as standard, and the Woodland Edition even comes with crossbars included. And let me tell you, when it comes to off-road and sporty vibes, this baby's got it all. They made customization options for the Woodland Edition and TRD Off-Road versions, which are the best ones when it comes to off-roading. The Woodland Edition throws in blackout badges, and they both kick things up a notch with the killer wheels, 18-inch TRD flow-formed wheels in bronze and matte black. But here's the question. These bigger wheels were the second issue that a lot of customers who got the RAV4 complained about. Now, Toyota has reshuffled their trims and offerings, so we would expect them to fix this issue. If they've truly done that or not, time will tell once we all get our hands on them. But if they don't, then we'll not be surprised if people go for their rivals, and they got a lot, so let's talk about that a bit. Price and competition You know what's so cool about the RAV4? It's got something for everyone. From its diverse lineup to its killer features, this SUV is like the Swiss army knife of the road. And let's not forget about Toyota's rock-solid reputation for quality, durability, and reliability. When you put it all together, it's no surprise that the RAV4 is crushing it as the top dog in the small SUV game. But, to be honest, they're not alone. The compact SUV segment has been the arena of the showdown between these two SUV juggernauts. Toyota has not been the only one making waves. Honda has been doing that with a total revamp of the CRV, hitting the streets with a bang. Yeah, Toyota has been cooking up something special, but so has Honda. But we can't just slap the best label on one or the other. It's all about personal taste. When it comes down to it, it's all about what floats your boat. Your ride should match your vibe. What we can talk about are factual things that both can compete in, like getting good value for your price. Every RAV4 hooks you up with Toyota Care. That means you're covered for two years or 25,000 miles, whichever hits first, for all your scheduled maintenance needs. Plus, you get two years of unlimited, 24-hour roadside assistance thrown in. But wait, it gets even better. 
If you're eyeing the RAV4 Hybrid EV or the RAV4 Prime Plug-in Hybrid EV, then you're in for a treat. There is an 8-year or 100,000-mile hybrid system warranty. And that's not all. You also score a 10-year or 150,000-mile hybrid battery warranty. Plus, this is Toyota. These babies are built to go the distance, no doubt about it. And the prices start at $28,475 for the gas-powered version, $31,475 for the hybrid, and $43,440 for the plug-in hybrid. But there are also several trim levels to choose from within each powertrain option, so the final price can vary depending on the specific features you select. But if you want to know more about other new SUVs that are coming out, then check out our channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.